We have an exclusive look at a taped interrogation of real estate heir and accused murderer Robert Durst. NBC's Gotti Schwartz is out in Los Angeles. He's got the latest on this. Gotti, what can you tell us? Uh, good morning, Matt. In this newly released uh, videotape and corresponding audio recording, we are getting a full picture of the interview between Robert Durst and a Los Angeles prosecutor. And in these recordings, Durst seems open to speaking with the district attorney, even without his lawyer. After more than two and a half hours of questioning, a frail Robert Durst sitting across from the prosecutor now charging him with the murder of Durst's longtime friend, Susan Berman. I think you want me to go through details of, of, of Susan. I do. Okay, so now what would I ask for? Uh, tell me. If I tell you those things, I'm pleading guilty. Okay. The video and audio of the interrogation were recorded what. separately and submitted if to the court as two woman, different pieces of evidence. Me, NBC News is showing them together for this report. Throughout the nearly three-hour interview, Durst and the prosecutor go back and forth. The prosecutor asking why Durst would agree to be interviewed for the HBO series The Jinx, a documentary that profiled the mysterious deaths of three people in the millionaire's life. When I did the interviews for the Jinx, yeah. I was on meth the whole time I was on meth. But when challenged by the prosecutor, Durst said that doing meth didn't affect the veracity of his interview. In one of the most pivotal scenes in the documentary, the producers hold up an envelope written by Susan Berman's killer and a letter Durst wrote to Berman years before, confronting Durst about the similarities. Can you tell me which one you didn't write? No. Shortly after. There it is. You're caught. Durst caught on a hot mic alone in the bathroom muttering to himself. What the hell did I do? Kill them all. Of course. Taking a page from the documentary in the interrogation room, the prosecutor asks the same question. Can you tell me which one of these you didn't write? I couldn't begin to. While denying they were identical, Durst did acknowledge they were similar and when asked directly about the deaths of Susan Berman or his wife Kathleen Durst who went missing in 1982, Durst responds with this. If you had killed Kathy, would you tell me? No. If you had killed Susan, would you tell me? No. Prompted by the DA in Texas, Durst does discuss killing and dismembering his neighbor in Texas, a case in which he was acquitted of murder. Cutting up that body the way I was doing it was the hard way. Then, Cutting through a bone is not easy with anything. And then, before the interrogation ends, Durst asks the prosecutor, what's in it for him? Well, what's going through my mind is, sure. if I tell you what I know okay. that answers your questions, what can you possibly do for me? Durst's attorney, Dick DeGarren, is outraged over the release of the interrogation. This could very easily affect the jury pool. Durst denies killing Susan, and even though he hasn't been charged in connection with his wife Kathy's murder, he also denies killing her during the interview. Whether these recordings will be allowed in court will now be argued in front of a judge during a hearing for Durst tomorrow. Hoda, Matt, back to you. All right, Gotti, thank you very much. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.